So it's Mark Antony's funeral oration, um, and these are the uh, presidents of the United States. Yes. Right. <laughs> All right, very good. All right, now, thank you, Anthony. <laughs> Friends, Romans, <laughs> countrymen, let me be clear. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. <laughs> the evil that men do, <laughs> which, which, it, li it lives after them. Bless you. The good, <laughs> the good is often terror. It's in terror. It iter, it iters, it territs. <laughs> it interrogates their bones. <laughs> So let it be with Caesar. The noble Brutus hath told you that Caesar was ambitious. If it were so, it were a grievous fault, and grievously had Caesar answered it. Here, under leave of Brutus and the rest, for Brutus is an honorable man, so are they all, all honorable men. Come I to bury Caesar. And to tell you about trickle-down economics, we're going to be changing the national speed limit to 55 miles an hour. And the space program is now going to be called Star Wars. <laughs> he was my friend, <laughs> faithful and just to me. But the noble Brutus says he was ambitious. And Brutus is an honorable man. So are they all honorable men. I'm also a man named Gerald Ford. <laughs> who hath brought many captives home to Rome. Whose ransoms did the general coffers fill? Did this son Caesar seem ambitious? When that the poor have cried, the noble Caesar hath wept. Ambition should be made of sterner stuff. Yet Brutus says he was ambitious, and Brutus is an honorable man. You all did see that on the looper cow I did thrice present him a kingly crown which he did thrice refuse. Was this ambition? More importantly, by a show of hands, how many of you know what the fuck I sound like? <laughs> good, good, this should be a good rest of the bit. <laughs> <laughs> Yet Brutus says he was ambitious, and Brutus is an honorable man, an honorable man who dropped an atomic bomb with a power of 20,000 tons of TNT on the empire of Japan. I speak not to disprove what Brutus spoke, but here I am to speak what I do know, that today is a date that shall live in infamy. You did love him once, not without cause. What cause with whom you then to mourn for him? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Bear with me, my heart is in the coffin there, and I must pause till it come back to me. <laughs> but yesterday the word of Caesar might have stood against the world, now lies he there. And none so poor to do him reverence. Really? I ask you for butter and you bring me one stick? You have to go all the way back downstairs now, and you bring a bucket. You bring more than you need, do you understand? We're going to get this done, and I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> oh, masters, if I ever disposed to stir your hearts and minds to mutiny and rage, I should, I should do Brutus wrong and Cassius wrong. Oh, you all know, honorable men. I will not do them wrong. I'd rather choose to wrong myself and you. It's true, I was president twice, but not consecutively. <laughs> Those were all the presidents who have been recorded. <laughs> but here's a parchment <laughs> with the seal of Caesar. I found it in this closet. It's as well. <laughs> you well compel me then. <laughs> To read the well. And you have tears. Prepare to shed them now. Oh, yeah. To every Roman citizen, he gives. To every several man, 75 drachmas. Moreover, he have left you all. His walks, his private hours, 
and look like the orchards. <laughs> On this side, Tyba, it's the good side. He had left the mule, and to your heirs for our common pleasures to walk abroad. I bring yourselves. Here was a Caesar. When comes such a now, let it work! Mr. Caron, the lot have fought! That was the Gypsy Kings. <laughs>